if it were nothing. Does that tell you how strong these guys are? Woo. The King hit. Hello and welcome to another edition of the world's greatest wrestling series. On this series, we feature Tag Team Madness, some of the most awesome and punishing wrestling action you've ever witnessed. Randy Macho Man Savage, Ravishing Rick Rude, The Anvil, The Rock and Roll Express, and a host of others. Plus, just uncovered from the vaults of private collectors, vintage footage of Terry the Hulk Boulder? Ah, that's right, Hulk Hogan against the outlaw. Let's go right to the action. This thing in the corner to my left, at 295 pounds from Tampa, Florida, Terry the Hulk Boulder. His opponent, at 210 pounds from parts unknown, the outlaw. Here we have the outlaw going up against the uncrowned NWA World Heavyweight Champion. That's Terry the Hulk Boulder, 295 pounds from Tampa. Oh! Push away by Boulder. I'll say one thing about Terry Boulder. He broke all attendance records in Dothan, Alabama a few weeks ago, and now he's set the wrestling world on fire by being crowned the uncrowned heavyweight champion for 37 seconds. He held that title. Was it 37 seconds, Charlie? About, about 37 is, is what was on the clock. Here we have uh, the outlaw trying to go for a body slam on uh, Terry Boulder. And he's got his work cut out for him. A reversal. Full slam by Boulder on the outlaw. Amazing the size of this Terry the Hulk Boulder, truly. One of the greats in professional wrestling. Outlaw firing away. Hulk dropping the elbow. He's not doing much damage, and the Hulk is coming back. There's a beautiful elbow. Takes his man into the ropes, comes off. Oh, catches him hard. Outlaw goes to the canvas once again. There it is. There it is. There's that bear hug. He's got that bear hug, Charlie. No getting out of that. Terry the Hulk Boulder. With a bear hug on the outlaw. I believe the outlaw is, is out. That is it. A national tag team championship battle. The infamous Road Warriors, Animal and Hawk. Animal in the ring right now. At ringside, their manager, Paul Ellering, called Precious Paul as he stalks around. Lawler starting it out, and right away he's caught. Look at this. That's 234 pounds. He pressed as if it were nothing. Does that tell you how strong these guys are? Woo. The King hit the deck hard. And these savage road warriors loving the kind of combat that says, let me at them.
sure they would be carrying the titles out. They're showing Kingdom a rematch for the national titles. Waller, 234 pounds, and he looks to a degree dwarfed by either one of the road warriors. Big, vicious forearm. Whoa, Lawler caught him right in the chin. The king, using his head and foot, slams in with an elbow. Beautiful move. and Savage and Popo. I take it for granted, maybe I shouldn't, that all wrestling fans know that Randy Savage and Lanny Popo are brothers. Bam! Good right hand, Rick Martin. Ducked under that elbow and fired at right when he turned around. Jerry Calhoun saying, let's keep the fist open. Doubt if there's any hope of that. Too many bad, bad feelings between these two teams. Randy Savage slamming Rick Morton down. 
And as Savage comes off the turnbuckle, Morton catches him. Sunset flip. Robert got him, but only for a one count. And there's a tag on Lanny Popo. Lanny misses the right hand. Robert ducks under and out. As Rick Morton was shaking the ropes to get Randy Savage off of him. He is all over the place. Entirely different personalities, Savage and, and his brother, Sir Lanny Pavo. Lanny will ax, wax eloquent. Randy Savage will do some of the most bizarre things you've ever seen. Rick and Robert showing no fear of this high-powered team of Popo Mania. Look at here! Beautiful drop kick. Almost got out from under that side headlock before Lanny had it clamped good. Front face lock, tag on Savage. And that's Savage, a whirlwind. Fires Ricky out. Now look out. Now look out. Down with both hands right on top of him. Yeah, he'll be back. Robert Gibson comes. executed. Rick Morton still down on his knees and Lanny pops him with a foot. Robert Gibson but from behind Randy Savage being chased by Robert. Let me tell you Robert and Rick they can throw that caution and rules to the wind. They'll go after you in a second give them half a chance. Rick is hurt. in the ring again. Savage tosses him over the top rope while the referee was sending Angelo Popo back to the corner. Angelo grabs him, slams his head down on the ring apron. Now they're having a field day taking pot shots while the referee's getting Robert Gibson out of there. Now the referee's over. Robert and Lanny Popo going at it. Rick rolls back in the ring to get away from Angelo and Randy Savage. Ooh, double hand from Savage down on Rick. There's that front flip, and Lanny got a two count. Nine minutes, five seconds into a 45-minute time limit match. Choco from Lanny. He has Rick's arm in a hammer. Oh, and as Rick leaped over and Savage caught him with a big elbow. Morton down, Savage taking advantage of it. Slams him with that right hand as the referee was warning. Didn't do any good. Tags, Lanny Popo grabs the leg to keep Rick from getting to Robert. Ooh, and as Robert was leaning in, Lanny across that ring in a second. Nailed him with a foot to the midsection. Robert coming in after him, caught by the referee. Popo pounds with an elbow on Rick. Tag. And there goes Morton out on the floor. So Rick Morton caught in the Popo corner. 
is having his clock wound by all three of them. Going for a pile driver, which will be a disqualification, but it'll Rick doesn't want to see any more of that. Over the top rope, down on the back. Lanny ripping with a right. Rick trying to come back. Nails Lanny. And just before Morton got a good spring to get Robert's hand, he just barely grabbed a leg to keep him from getting over there. Savage around behind grabs Robert Gibson. Blasts him one. That's to keep the tag from being executed. Robert going after him. Eleven and a half minutes and Rick Morton out on the floor again. Here comes Angelo. Ricky dumped over the table. Savage going after him. Lifts him up, but Rick... Whoa! Backflipped him over on the table. Savage slammed down as Rick Martin backflipped him out of the pile driver. Fired into it. Lanny Popo. Oh, looks like we're getting all four of them involved here. Out on the floor goes Savage. Robert with a pin on Lanny, but the referee is out here with Rick and Savage. Angelo Papo gets in there. Thirteen minutes, six seconds. It's going to be a disqualification. And look at Rick Morton go on Angelo. Now the whole Papo family was jumping on Rick, but Angelo comes out of there where Rick had been beaten on him with a book, a boot. Disqualification in 1306. The winners will be Morton and Gibson. And quite a team it is. There's no doubt about it. They will be vastly favored as they step in. Neidhart, Rick Rude, and for the first time, the Japanese assassin. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. We got it, man. Right. Call for the ball. Yeah, okay. Come on, boy. Come on. No more job from now on, baby. It's strictly business for the family. Yeah, don't go Japanese is passing in there right now with Keith Eric, Dave. Yeah, Keith partners uh, Mad Dog, Robert Reed, and Tiger Mask. Japanese uh, assassin partners Ox Ox Baker, uh, Jim Neidhart, and Rick Rude. Rick Rude stepping in there against Keith Eric. They got Eric back in the corner. I mean, about all four of them pounding on him. We're dying too close. I don't want to say it too loud, but that Rude does look funny. Yes, he does. <laughs> He'll never <laughs> replace Angel. <laughs> Three suges over there, Mad Dog, Reed, and who? And, and look at that right there, Tiger Mask. Why don't y'all boys jump in the ring and get your feet wet? What's wrong? Are, are they got super glue on their boots? Is that it, Russell? That's a tag. Bad Dog coming in the ring now, Jim. Bad Dog, all right. He just embarrassed 50,000 people out there. Look at him right there. Big old Mad Dog. Look at him. Eating his way to superstar the Mad Dog. Come on, baby. There you go, Ox. Look at him. You know, he looks like a, a midget beside an Ox Baker. Look at him. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Beautiful, Rick. Come on, baby. There you go. Tag out. There you go. Tag somebody. Whoa. Here comes Tiger Man. Oh, boy. Here comes Tiger Man. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. 
Neidhart takes the tag. In the family, don't you Russell, huh? I notice they're very aggressive, Jimmy. I would have to say. That means that who stays and who goes from now on. We're starting to do some cutting around here. This is going to be like a football team from now on, baby. You're going to pay your dues. Robert Reed coming back in. He uh, took the tag and faces Neidhart. Here comes the ox. From Jerry Lawrence to the left team, Big Robert Reed. He has got to win his first match. Beautiful, baby, beautiful. Ah, oh, Baker slams him down. Tags the Japanese assassin. Can you get me a close-up? We can see him in the background, Jimmy. The guy's nowhere near him in the corner. There he is. Tag back on Keith Harry. Beautiful. Look at the newest member of the family. What do you think about him, Russell? Yeah, where'd you dig him up? You always adding somebody. Well, I have an office here in Memphis, Tennessee, and let me tell you something. Maybe the phone rings off the wall because everybody wants to come here, and everybody wants to be in the first family of wrestling. Power slam from the anvil, Jim Knight. Ah, oh, he broke the count, eh? Rick Rude and the battle chief, Eric. The first neck breaker. Rude's got a one, two, three, and that's going to be it. It's a little too late, boys, a little too late. All right. Time on it was three minutes, 18 seconds, and the first family gets the win. Jim Neidhart, Rick Rude, the Japanese assassin, and Ox Baker victorious.